Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I am going to show you how to download and install Dynamic Lights. Now we are installing this for 1.17.1, that is the newest version of Minecraft at the moment. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually load up your Minecraft launcher over here. Now once your Minecraft launcher loads, what you're going to want to do is actually put on the latest release just here, 1.17.1, and then click on play. Now once your Minecraft has loaded up, all you're going to want to do now is actually just click on quit game, just like that. So you need to do that for this to actually work. So the next thing you're going to want to do is actually come to this website just here, link in the description down below. And the first thing you're going to want to do is just check the game version just up here. And once it's got 1.17 on it, that means it's all okay. If it's got a newer version there, that still is okay. All you've got to do is come on the files button just here. And once you come on this page just here, if you come down, you have to look for the game version 1.17.1 or newer. It depends on what version you are downloading. But today we are downloading 1.17.1. So what I'm actually going to do is click on the orange download button just there. It might bring a menu up just like this. You've got to wait a few seconds for it to actually download. Once it downloads, it will say this file could harm your computer. It won't. I've downloaded thousands of these files. And yeah, my computer is totally fine. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is actually click on keep just there. So that is it. Next thing you're going to want to do is come over to Fabric just here and it downloads the Fabric installer just here. So click on that and it should just download just here. Click on keep as well for this file. There's also a link in the description for this website just here to actually download this. Now the next website you're going to want to go to is this one just here, Fabric API just here. Now once you guys come to this website it will look like this, a link in the description down below. So what you're going to want to do is click on files just here, come down until you see 1.17.1 and then click on the downloads button just there. Now you will have to wait 5 seconds and it should start downloading. And once it's downloaded, just click on keep as well for this one. Now you have got your free files just here. As you can see, I've got mine on the desktop just here. Now I do want to say very quickly as well that if your files do not look like this with the coffee mug in here, you need to install Java. And if you already have Java installed, you might need to install Jarfix. Now to install Jarfix, it's very, very simple. All you got to do is come to this website just here. Link in the description down below. And just come down and you download the right version for your operating system. Now I will leave it on screen for an updated video on this so you can actually see uh, more information about this because we're not going to install it today. So I'm going to close it down and here we are. So the first thing you're going to want to do now is actually right click on this file, open with and open with Java just here. Now once you've done this, this little menu here should come up. You're going to want to click on the latest release just here, 1.17.1. And now you're also going to want to make sure that in your file installation location, you want to actually make sure it's got .minecraft just here on the end because it's actually going to install this to your .minecraft. And once this is all right, leave it all like this and click install. Now you should get this menu just here, tell you it's installed, click on OK. Then you click out of this menu and you can actually get rid of this file just here. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is actually go to your .minecraft folder. Now for some of you guys this will be very easy to find but for some of you it will be pretty difficult so there's actually a very easy way of actually finding your .minecraft folder. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is actually load up your Minecraft. As you can see right here we've got fabric in here just click on play. Now once your Minecraft has loaded up what you're going to want to do is actually click on options down here then click on resource packs and once your resource packs folder is open just click on open resource pack just here. Now we'll bring a menu up just like this and as you see up the top here there is dot minecraft just there so click on that and now we are in the dot minecraft area so this is your install for all your minecraft and it should look a bit like this and this is totally fine so now what you're going to want to do is actually look for a mods folder now if you can't find a mods folder it's very simple all you've got to do is right click new new folder and just call it mods pretty simple just like that and enter but i've already got a mods folder so i don't need to do it so yeah just look for your mods folder if you haven't got one just create one now double click into this mods folder now what you're going to do is you drag in your two last files just here dynamic lights and fabric uh, api just there and just put those two just in here just like that now you want to do is click on the little x button just there you're going to want to close down your minecraft as well so just click quit on your minecraft just like that Now, we are nearly done now. All you got to do now is reload your Minecraft back up. So here we are on the launcher just here. So as you can see here, I've got fabric loaded just down here. Now you're going to want to click on that. If you can't see it in here, just click on installations up here. Now you can see it in here. You should be able to see it in here. If you can't, all you got to do is come up here and select modded just there. 
then it should come up anyway make sure you do select your fabric just here then click on play so now basically we are done so what we've got to do is actually go into world and actually test this out so as you can see here right now i'm actually in a world don't mind that at the back but as you can see just here it's very dark around me as you can see but if you hold torches it will actually light up your area just around you now it's actually very cool it's actually uh, very nice optifine does do this as well but apparently it doesn't work too well so yeah, this mod actually fixes all that now you can install optifine as well with this so you can use the zoom in button and you know have an optifine as well so yes guys that is basically it for this video if this video actually helped you out i'd really appreciate it if you did leave a like and also if you subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you do have problems installing this you can come and check out my discord and i can help you out there i've got a help section on my discord server now definitely come and check it out if you do need help or you can leave a comment and I can try my best to help you out there. But anyway, that is it and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.